All right, if you have this error right here, the ink pad needs service, um, I have a little fix, or not a little fix, but big fix, because you can't use your printer. So I have an Epson ET2800, and the ink pad needs service. So I'll show you guys how to fix that in one second. Okay, so this is a part that's supposed to fix it. Got it from Amazon. I'll put the listing up here, but that's that. So we can install it into the printer. Right, so I turn the printer around, it's the back, and there's this little, I think this is right, it's this little thing right here. You just get a screwdriver and unscrew it. Hopefully this is the right one. And it, the ink pad should be in here. Okay, the guy was sliding it off and then there you go. All right, so here's the ink pad. Screw this. Okay, and then I just take it out, All right? Oh, dang, that thing is black. Okay, so the guy just, just slides that in there, no? There it is. And we screw it back in. I think we're I think this should be good. Slide it up. There you go. Okay. Let's try to print it back around. Okay. Plug that in there. Once you get to resetkey.net, just scroll down and you would want to download it for Windows. So once you do that. It's probably going to show you some general stuff. It can teach you how to do it there, but you choose your printer over here and you want to reset waste counters. You can put in the key trial and then it would set it to 80%. But you can buy the full thing. I don't, I didn't do it, but you can buy the full thing for like $8. And I, I think it'll reset it fully, but that's how it is. And after that, just test it out. It'll ask you to turn off your printer and turn it back on. And I think it should be good. So I'm gonna do a test print and see how it is. Okay, I did a test print right here. Interesting. So, we're good, we're good. If it could focus, there you go. It worked. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is, I'm gonna clean up print head and all that and hopefully everything will be good. Cause it kind of messed up what I was doing. But yeah, so I'm just gonna clean my print head and yeah, hopefully that fixes it. Also, I saw someone, they cleaned this instead of buying a new one. You could do that. I haven't tried it yet, so maybe I'll just hold on to this, clean it, and see what happens. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah.